Module number five. In this module, we are going to see the relationship between moles and allocator number. First, introduction of what is the mole. We we'll introduce this constant and how Avogadro number is related to a mole of a substance. Then some examples related with mole and Avogadro. Avogadro 19, 17, 76 to 1856. He is famous for molecular theory, commonly known as Avogadro's law. In tribute to him, the number of particles, atoms, molecules, ion in a mole of a substance, 6 plus 0 double 10 to 10 to power 23, is known as the Avogadro constant. He explained that how Avogadro's number is related to a mole of any substance. The mole symbol MOL is the unit of measurement for amount of substance in the international system of units, SI unit. Mole of a substance or a mole of a particle is defined as the exactly 6 by 0 double 2, 1, 4, 0, 7, 6 into 10 to power 23 particles, which may be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. In short, for particle, one mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 unit. Therefore, we can say that the number of particles in one mole of a substance it call, is called Avogadro's number. The value of this number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. It is represented by an A. The amount of a substance having 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles is called a mole. The quantitative definition of mole is atomic mass, molecular mass, or formula mass expressed in gram. Examples. One mole of carbon contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 of carbon atoms. One mole of oxygen contains 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 of oxygen molecules. Thus, the relationship between mole and mass can be expressed as number of moles of a substance can be converted into grams of a substance by multiplying the molar mass. And gram of a substance can be converted into number of moles by dividing the molar mass. Number of moles of a substance can be converted into number of atoms, number of particles, number of molecules with, when we multiply the Avogadro constant. And these number of atoms, molecules, or ion can be converted into number of sub, moles of a substance by dividing Avogadro constant. Examples. Atomic mass of carbon expressed as 12 gram. It means one mole of a carbon. Molecular mass of water expressed as 18 gram is equal to one mole of water. Molecular mo mass of sulfuric acid expressed as gram, 98 gram, is one mole of a substance, sulfuric acid. Formula mass of NaCl expressed as 58.5 gram is equal to one mole of NaCl. Now, again, mole of a substance can be converted into mass and gram by multiply the molar mass. And this mass and gram can be again converted into number of moles by dividing the molar mass. Number of moles of a substance can be converted into number of particles, that is atoms, molecules, or ions by multiplying the Avogadro constant. And this number of atoms, molecules, or ions can be converted into number of moles by dividing the Avogadro so we obtain two formula here. First formula, number of moles can be calculated mass and gram divided by molar mass. And number of moles is also can be calculated by the number of atoms or molecule divided by Avogadro constant. Okay. 
example calculate the number of atoms of na in 160 gram of n it is a given mass of na one mole of na is equal to 23 gram so one mole of na is having 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 sodium atom so if you divide 160 by 23 and multiply by 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 we obtain the number of atoms of sodium that is 4.189 to 10 to the power 23 sodium atom first given mass divided by molar mass we can obtain number of moles this number of moles can be multiplied by the Avogadro constant we obtain the number of atoms of sodium we can solve this problem with the help of formula in first step we can calculate the number of moles number of moles can be calculated by the mass in gram divided by molar mass in first mass of sodium is given 160 and molar mass of sodium is 23 we got the 6.9565 mole of sodium atom now step number two in step number two we can calculate the number of atom with the help of number of molecules number of molecules is equal to number of atom divided by Avogadro constant so we require to calculate number of atom we shift the Avogadro and multiply with the number of moles. When number of moles multiply by the Avogadro constant, we obtain the number of atom. 6.9565 multiplied by 6.02 to 10 to the power 23. Answer is 4.189 into 10 to the power 23 sodium atom. And the example. Calculate the number of grams of sodium present in 3.000 into 10 to the power 18 atoms of sodium. Now, atoms of sodium is given here. So, we write the given number of atoms of sodium. It is 1 mole of sodium contains 6.000 into 10 to the power 23 atom and 1 mole of sodium having 23 gram of molar mass. So, first we divide the given number of atom by Avogadro number and then multiply with the molar mass of sodium. So we obtain 1.146 into 10 to the power minus 4 gram of sodium. Now calculate again with the help of given formula in two steps. In step number one, number of moles can be calculated with the help of given number of atoms. That is 3.000 into 10 to the power 18 by Avogadro number. So we obtain 0.4. 4982 to 10 to the power minus 5 moles. In step number 2, with the give calculated number of moles, we can calculate mass in gram. We adjust the equation. Molar mass will be shifted here. It will be multiplied. Here it, will, it is going to divide. So if we shift it here, it will be multiplied with the number of moles. Number of moles is already calculated. That is 0.49. 8 into 10 to the power minus 5 and molar mass of sodium is 23. We multiply with the 23, we obtain that 1.146 into 10 to the power minus 4 gram of sodium atom. So we get ever that the number is a collection of 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles. This particle may be atom, ions, or molecule. It is represented by the symbol N. Both are capital plus A is represented as a subscript in the form of subscript. Hence, the 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 number of atoms, molecule, or, or a formula unit is called Avogadro number. In simple words, 6.02 to 10 to the power 23 particles are equal to the 1 mole as 12 eggs are equal to the 1 mole. Hope so you understand. Read again. If you have any query, please message me. Thank you.